as known athletes. Yeah, for sure. You, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, we're not famous for anything. I'm not crying about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what, but, uh, what, was, what was Adam famous for? Um, there you go. There's a good one. What, what was Adam? Really? So not so famous. Let me not lie to you. Let me not lie. He is a skateboarder. He was a BMX guy. Yeah. yeah. Right. Do you do you know name another famous BMXer? But I only know that because I I, yeah, I did yeah, the research. Yeah, right. that's, like, that's my point. Yeah. My point is is that he wasn't famous. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he tried. He did the BMX shit. It didn't work. I don't know how famous or not famous he was in that, but clearly it didn't work. Right. And he pivoted. And but you know, but you know what he did? He he focused on that next generation of like emo type rappers, mm. the shit that he actually liked, like, like, like Adam doesn't listen to, um, rap rate and uh, not rap rate or, um, rap caviar. Okay. That's not what he that's goes to. His. No, that's not his thing. He's looking for the more, you know, offbeat sort of, yeah, you know, these, these interesting guys. Outside. Th- th- that next, th- that, that next generation, like his, you know what his biggest interview was? Wow. XXX okay. XXX Tentacion. Yeah, yeah, I remember yeah. they called a lot of people yeah. early. I didn't want to be wrong. <laughs> early. Yeah. In fact, the biggest, that was one of the biggest interviews, like his interview with X was one of, the, definitely X's biggest interview, yeah. but kind of one of the biggest hip hop interviews because wow. X became a superstar. But it took an Adam <clears throat> to, to see, kids. to see the, the future, the vision of, what X knew, but what no one else yes. at the time knew. I'm sure I could have gotten X at that time too. He just wasn't on my radar. I was mm. focusing on different things, but he was focusing on that. And, and you look at his history, like Lil Peep, yeah. you know, um, Juice World, and a lot of these guys, you know, yeah, like the, there dude, is a the, the, kid, the kids yeah. with the face tattoos, and he got face tattoos. <laughs> so, yeah. so they could relate to him a certain type yeah. of way that they probably won't relate to me. Me and X probably wouldn't have had the same type of interview. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. I'm a little older. I'm, you know, I'm not tatted up at all. I'm not, you know, I, I didn't catch on to his music until later. And he became one of the biggest artists in hip hop period. Like that, that album, his last album, I think was one of the most, it, it may be the most streamed hip hop album ever. The posthumous one or the, no, no, no. The one, okay. It's, uh, the, the one sad? With the, 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 the question oh, marks. The yeah. The one with the question mark. The, yeah. Like, like that album is, Way up there. But that's Adam's thing. You know, and now it's like porn and stuff like that. He's sort of pivoted and <laughs> yeah, doing yeah. some of that shit as well. He's, he's added you know? some new... Uh, nah, being nah, a cuckold, you know what I mean? That's just... Yeah. Oh, <laughs> stop, <laughs> it. stop yeah, it. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, because we used to interview porn stars back in the day, but at one point I said, all right, enough. I'm, I'm good. I, I've done I've done that. I see it's not really my lane. <clears throat> and Adam, that's Adam's lane. But that's more organic to him because he does porn himself, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, so, so it makes more sense for him to interview a porn star than me. So, you know, if, if yeah, I get those offers, I'd be like, go, go, go talk to Adam. Like, that's a better place for you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got nothing against you or anything else like that. But so, so this is what I'm saying. Like, everyone has their thing, and you got to figure out what that thing is. And you can't just say, oh, well, they have an advantage because Nori's a rapper Vlad was a DJ, or Gilly, you know, was down with Little Wayne, or or yeah. whatever else. No, like you know, Sean. What was Sean Cotton famous for? Say cheese. No, before say cheese. What was he famous for? I don't know. He worked at Best Buy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know someone who's famous for working at Best Buy? I, I don't know anyone who's famous for working at Best Buy. Make it a case. Make it a case. See what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. He was working at Best Buy. Watching Vlad TV interviews on his on his break. Fire. And and I know this because he told me when I interviewed him the first time. He said he used to watch Vlad TV interviews during his breaks at Best Buy. And one day he picked up a camera and said, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try this out. You fast forward and he's one of the prominent interviewers in our space. Yeah. But he started from the very bottom. <laughs> the break room. From the bottom and then, you know, and now he does other shit. He does some real estate shit. He does, he signed, you know, and he, he signed artists. He signed like Spot of Got Got yeah. and, and, and some other dudes. Like, you know, not all of them blew. Some of them did whatever. But, you know, that's kind of his lane. Like he's into signing artists and everything else like that. So, so that's, you know, kind of his thing and, and where he's positioned himself. But we all... No one leans on, like, yes, yeah, some people have a little bit of a head start, but there's lots of athletes 
who started podcasts that have gone fucking nowhere. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> There's lots of rappers, uh, good point. lots of rappers, sometimes even bigger rappers who start podcasts and realize three, four podcasts in that they're not making any money and they quit. Yeah, you got it. Sure. You said a lot of dope shit. Uh, you talked about reinvestment uh, yeah. and consistency. Yeah. And if you don't have those, it's not going to work. Yeah. Anyways. Gloria, Gloria Velez did three podcasts for us. She got good guests. She got Cisco for the first one. She got TK Kirkland for the second. Okay. She got Neo for the third. Big. She was a major video girl yeah. in her era. So she had these relationships. She had a, a leg up. You know, some of these guys, the relationships may differ. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know. But she approached us to do a podcast. And I said, all right, I'm going to finance it. I'm going to film it. I'm going to produce it. I'm going to put it out through my platform. I'm going to pay you and your partner for it as well. We put it out. First one lost money. Second one lost money. Third one lost money. Mm. And then she does a video. But we were still rocking with it. Okay, like these have lost money, but we're Let's still willing. We're still figuring it out. Yeah. Yes, a lot of the guests you bring to me, I'm, I'm not going to take them because there's a track record of, of not being extremely successful, but I'm still trying to work with you and so forth. One day she makes a video saying that, you know, accusing me of shady tactics or whatever Stop else. And it. like, you know, uh, I'm not working with Vlad TV. Well, who should I work for next? That was the last podcast she ever did. Anyone? She, <laughs> she hasn't dropped anything <laughs> since then. Is there anyone alive out there? <laughs> she hasn't dropped anything since then. Just to illustrate that here's someone who has a leg up. Yeah. Who has a platform, who has someone who's vest investing in it, but three episodes in, they hit a frustration point and they quit because the OnlyFans money is just easier. Yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's just easier. Why should I put in all this work when I could just shoot a video of whatever and I just, you know. Put, it, put in that work. Yeah, yeah, and, I, yeah and I've so, just made a few thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's way see. easier. So, so it never got a chance to develop. You know, a year down the line, she could have been one of the major, you know. And, and the thing is, and, and, and like I said before, it seems easy to do. But, you know. I would give her blueprints of what to do in the interview. She would veer off yeah, and go do herself pocket, and it wouldn't, you know, and it's like, I right, like you, like it's, it's like everyone just can't do it from the first day they do it. They have to learn. They have to understand what, what works. And, and it's a skill that, that takes a while to develop. But she had a lot of legs up, and she had a lot of. Uh, I don't mean that. that yeah, way. I was about to say. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she did. Like no, no. She, she had a, she, she had a lot of a lot of advantages <laughs> and a lot of history and a lot of relationships uh, that that you and I don't have. Like having, you know, if you if you've known Gloria for ten years and she hits you up, you're like, yeah, well, that's my girl. Like, yeah, I'll fuck with I'll you. Like, by. yeah, I'll, I'll stop by. I got you. Her and Neo obviously had a relationship you know, a friendship or whatever else to, to make him stop whatever he's doing to, to go to go support her platform or anything else yeah. like that. But, like, it's not easy. And, and people have to learn. Like, you don't just hit the ground running. Yeah. And, and um, you know, but she had all the advantages that, that you're talking about, and it still didn't work still out. It didn't work, okay. Partly because she didn't put in the work, partly because she gave up too early, partly because she wouldn't listen to the producer, which is me. You know, partly because she had a temper and she blew up. Because I remember I tried to call her afterwards and she wouldn't take my calls. Uh, I tried to text her. She wouldn't respond to my text. And I'm like, okay, well, I've lost. Yeah, it's over for I've you. I've lost <laughs> on every, I've already lost money on every project that you've already, that we've done for you. So I'm not, I'm done. Like, I yeah. don't, what, I'm going to keep pushing to, to lose more money? Like, yo, like, it, it is what it is. But what I'm saying is, don't, don't think that other people somehow, are, are starting ahead of you. Yeah. If it you could outwork anybody. Hello. You could outwork anybody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like,